What's going on, guys? I'm excited to bring you all the very first episode of What's the Hoot? So because this is the first episode, I wanted to give a brief description of what the Hoot is all about. It's going to be a video series where I interview people who have gone through a mentorship, whether it was on ADP list, LinkedIn, or whatever platform. Mentorship is an amazing thing, and the series is all about talking about mentorship, why it's great, our favorite moments about mentorship, and why we encourage others to pursue it. So this first episode is featuring one of my ambassadors that I work with on ADP list. Her name is Amber K. Wilson. We go way back a couple months ago when we first met and we just talked through LinkedIn. It was awesome. She's got great energy, great personality, and I hope you guys enjoy this very first episode. So, Amber, you know, thanks so much for hopping on this call. Now, just to give some some people some some background about yourself, I know you are a founding product designer. You are also a fellow ADP list ambassador. And you're also a, correct me if I'm wrong, co-founder of the Design Lab Student Life Committee. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor, that is correct. <laughs> or the awesome, way you awesome. said that was so official. <laughs> like, uh, like you're reading it thank from you. like a, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's so funny because like, I have definitely like looked at your LinkedIn like numerous times. So I feel like your headline is like, ingrained into my head I'm like it starts with the founding product designer and then the ADP list ambassador and then the yes. student uh life committee so that's a yeah, testament to how that. powerful the headlines are on LinkedIn yeah no dead ass dead ass so obviously we came here to to talk about mentorship us being ambassadors for ADP list and so I wanted to kick start this conversation by just asking you Amber why do you love mentorship Oh my God, you start with a big one. I'm like, okay, go. Here we go. Wait, off to the races. Why do I love mentorship? Because it's cool, I guess. No, I'm just kidding. Um, I'm going to just, since this is how you asked it, I'm going to just say mentorship in general. You know, mentorship is, you can get really deep into the word about it. Like, well, what's the difference between mentorship and being a coach versus managing versus being a leader? And like, to me, mentorship is really just about getting in there with you receiving that, you know, getting context from the situation you're in, uh, if they're not like kind of alongside you on the journey that you're at. Um, and then they can, they've been there, done that sort of thing. You know, it's, uh, it's like firsthand experience. And that to me is so valuable. It's so much more valuable than just reading about it in a book. Like I'll take, I'll, I'll use an example, like completely out of design. Like learning a language. I, I tried learning Tagalog at the beginning of the pandemic. Um, I've since had a pause because Tagalog is crazy. I love Tagalog. I would love to learn it. I wish my mom had taught it to me. Um, but I would never be able to learn Tagalog from a book. I needed somebody and I, I used a website called italki and uh, I'm probably saying it wrong, italki. And you basically get, uh, you can choose a, a tutor, but you know, they're kind of like mentors. And they know the language. Uh, they they uh, sometimes live in the country. So I had a, a, a tutor from the Philippines and like they live it, breathe it, you have it w with you. So it's like the complete difference. You know, it's like that. that's the difference between just um, reading an article on Medium, which is, I love reading articles on Medium, don't get me wrong, but having someone be able to look at you and say, Amber, this is where you're screwing up. And, and it's so much more impactful than just kind of reading it because, you know, you can ask follow-up questions and they can back it up with experience. Like, you're screwing up. And that's because I know because I did this and this is what happened. And I think that's so powerful because, um, did you say this? Somebody said this where, like, they screwed up so you don't have to. I, I mean, I, I think I, that's been floating around, but. I, I think it was, I think it was Felix maybe who posted something yeah. like that on LinkedIn, like he, he was describing how like, you know, everyone tells you to read books or read articles, watch YouTube videos, listen to podcasts, but no one tells you to, you know, look for a mentor because they're the ones who have had user experience making these mistakes. So that way they can prevent you from making the same mistakes that they made themselves. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you mentors for screwing up for us. Love yes, <laughs> we 
We love to see it. Now yeah. that's, you know, great, great way to start off. And, and, you know, something that was in the back of my mind as you were talking is how you distinctly wanted to define mentorship, not, you know, being a leader, being a manager, you know, all that. Because I do agree with you that mentorship is, is different in an aspect of, you know, being a leader and whatnot. Yeah. And I wanted to actually pull a sort of a quote from a previous manager that I had because he actually read one of my Medium articles about, you know, being a mentee and whatnot. And the way he described being a, a mentor in his eyes, I'm just like, oh, that's super interesting. So I would love to get your thoughts. So, yeah. you know, he described a mentor as someone who has what you want, right? Uh, whether it's that job or company that you work at and can basically help guide you to achieve maybe not exactly that same exact outcome, but a very similar outcome. And, you know, in my opinion, I agree to an extent. I don't think it necessarily has to be someone who has exactly what you want, but I think it's obviously gonna establish a way more genuine connection rather than maybe someone who, you know, doesn't necessarily have what you want, but I still think there's some mentorship that can be applied from someone yeah. who doesn't have your dream job. Yeah, no, that's a, that person you spoke to, I, I agree with them like 110%, 110%. And like the whole defining thing, by the way, like that is a whole discussion and I'm sure there's all sorts of opinions about it. I think mentorship, a good leader has mentorship. Maybe a good mentorship has leader leadership skills. I don't know, but I think a good leader has mentorship skills in them. Uh, regarding the quote that uh, that person had said to you or the that you paraphrased or whatever, I do that all the time. And the way I say it, I've said this to you before, where I, I look for people and one of my first questions is like, how do I be you when I grow up? I mean, I'm clearly grown up for, I mean, I'm technically grown up. I'm not like, like I've really grown up, but um, <laughs> you know, that's kind of like my way of saying, you know, uh, they, they have what I want. How do I get that? Cause you clearly have it. So what do I do? What do I got to do to get that? you are who I want to be. So how do I be that person that you are that I'm looking at right now? Um, and it, it's like, and I'm going at this from a very human perspective. I'm not set, putting them on a pedestal. Like, yes, I clearly I respect them, um, but they are humans and there's nothing stopping me except my own demons from, from achieving what they've achieved. And, you know, they're usually really open about that. And, and, I, it's like, it's just like, you know, with user research, you don't ask users who aren't in your target demographic to tell you something about this, not in your problem space, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Like, don't get me wrong. You can, it, there's, I think there's value in speaking to all sorts of mentors in all different disciplines. I mean, design is a very expansive space that covers a lot of things. Um, but if you know, like I for sure want to get into, um, like strategy, like speak to someone who's got that experience. I for sure want to get into someone who's like really into fintech or, or into medical stuff, like find someone who has that experience. Um, I have a history in visual design. So I love finding mentors who have that as well. Cause then I can, I have that in common with them. Like, yeah, so what do you, you know, how do you leverage that as your background, you know, moving forward. Um, and it, yeah, you're right. It, it cultivates like some really authentic, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for, conversation. And it's a quick way into a connection as long as you're not being a jerk, obviously. Like, don't be a jerk. Yeah. Um, but I would say that like, there's a lot of value in that. And I've been a part of other programs where you you seek out people who have what you want and you say, I, how do I get there? And it has always proven, to, not always, but it very often proves to be a, uh, a very smart way to do it. Humans, you tend to be all about connection. So surround yourself with people who have that. Like in a way, um, you know, you mentor me in some ways, you know, I'm sure I mentor you in some ways, you know, we are all like, stick with the people who have what you want. Yeah, oh, you oh, blush, 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 oh my God. <laughs> but like, to, you know, surround yourself with people who you can, you can vibe with and you can get, uh, I don't, I'm trying to say words from my brain and the words are coming out. 
being around other like just awesome amazing design people right um you kind of just like what she said the name of the movie uh so, um and uh if you just surround yourself with amazing design people you eventually start it, it almost normalizes it for yourself when i first uh started trying to get back into this field i actually would sit in the mirror and say i am amber i'm a product designer i am amber i'm a ux designer like it, like out of a movie it was hilarious and then now it's like I don't have to do that anymore because I surround myself with people where they're like, yeah, that's Amber, you're acting insane. That's clearly what you are. Um, that, I, sorry, this is tangent land and that's okay. Cause we're having a conversation right now. Um, but yeah, I think that's a good way to approach mentorship. Find people who have what you want, who are what you want and ask them, how do I do that thing? That's awesome. It's so funny that you are talking about you staring yourself in the mirror because I don't know if you could tell, but I have a mirror. Oh right here and there has been times where i literally had to sit down in front of the mirror and tell myself listen you are a designer no one can take that away from you and there was actually a clubhouse meetup it was my very first one like when i was like super newbie to to mm -hmm. clubhouse and it was with grace lane you know from design buddies you know yeah and a bunch of other designers and whatnot and i think the biggest takeaway i got from that clubhouse me was that you know everyone has the word aspiring designer aspiring researcher in their headlines oh, yeah. but like the main takeaway i got from that is you don't need aspiring in your title you are a designer if you did you know one user interview or you drew one wireframe you already are doing the thing that you are setting yourself out to be so the guy, I, I forgot his name, unfortunately, but he literally said, like, get get rid of aspiring. Yeah, I, you don't I'm need thinking that. of the same person who we both forgot. Sorry, <laughs> you are. but yeah, no, I remember seeing somebody or like maybe a few people say, like, get rid of that. Get rid of the junior, get rid of the, like, unless that's like official the company's calling you that or whatever, but get rid of aspiring. At, le at least for sure, I agree with the aspiring thing. I think the only time you were ever an aspiring product designer is like when you were right before the decision to do it. Right. That's the part that is where you were an aspiring, like the part where I was an aspiring product designer was literally the millisecond before I decided I'm going to sign up for a class and just see what happens. Right. And then after that, the rest is history. Nice. Now I do want to go back to what you were talking about and I'm trying so hard to like remember because I'm taking like little mental notes as you're oh talking. yeah I'm taking oh, actual physical like, notes I know my, oh my limitations God, I know my limitations and I take dang. notes <laughs> that is oh okay I started adopting that but it was in part with ooh I'm blanking right now I'm really blanking okay let's rewind the maybe may, maybe it'll it'll come back to me one time but I guess to shift the conversation a little bit so obviously we've had lots of mentors in our life, right? Yeah. We utilize ADP list and this isn't just a shamelessly plug ADP list, but it is a great way to find mentors. ADPlist.org. <laughs> exactly. So, you know, there's definitely gotta be moments that you just, your brain just, you know, big brain moments or, you know, eye opening, mouth dropping, whatever you want to call it moments where you're just like, oh, wow. Like I never looked at things this way. So, you know, I wanted to ask what have been some of your favorite moments as a mentee when you, it doesn't even have to be 80 pillars, it could be literally anything. It could be, you know, your, from your family or like your previous jobs, like moments where you're just like, wow. The this more was... you expand the, the, <laughs> the, the, the like constraints of this question, the more I'm like, okay, now we're getting to like, you know, I really liked how my parents taught me how to walk. That was really, that's really, <laughs> it's helped me move forward in life so much. Oh, hell yeah. Um, so <laughs> I, I have one that I, it's back into the constraint. It's not an EP list. It's uh, so I have a, 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 a mentor with uh, Design Lab, and, which is the boot camp that I go to. Um, and uh, she, this is probably like, I, she probably doesn't even know if it was like a super mind blowing moment for me, but it was, and this is very specific. Um, I designed, I was like, um, I was creating wireframes for a uh, responsive e-commerce website. And like, 
me being me, I was like, I'm going to throw everything in there plus the kitchen sink. This is going to be a bomb diggity dong. Website is going to have all the Nikki snacks and, and the, and the contraps and the awesomes. And then she's like, this is great, but you know what? Your dev team will hate you. Like, she didn't say it like that, but like, she was like, okay, well, like, think about the trade-offs here. Like, what's happening? Like, it's just so much. It's just so much. Amber, calm down. And, and there was like that moment where I was like, I do need to calm down. Now, usually I don't like calming down because I have a ball of energy and no one's going to tell me to not be that way. But I, I realized, oh my God, I'm working in a, like a cabin in the middle of the woods. Like, where's my team? And Boot camps are very good for foundational skills. I'm not knocking boot camps in any way, but like for the love of God, try and meet people outside. My uh, other co-founder for the Design Lab Student Life Committee, who's also just an amazing human being, uh, his tip that he always gives people is like, don't just network with designers, network and, and meet and talk with and get to know non-designers, uh, you know, engineers, developers, uh, product managers, visual designers, graphic designers, hula hoop instructors, I don't know, but like, you know, get to know, <laughs> um, like get to know people that you're going to be working with. Um, so I, I realized, okay, I need to start taking on some things where I am having to design something where I have to compromise the, and I, okay. The thing I always say about education, like boot camps, colleges, whatever classes, whatever the problem with the problem with boot camps is that there are no problems. You have stakeholders who love everything you do. You have an unlimited budget. You have a very nice, soft timeline that's really compassionate towards your schedule. Um, you got like stakeholders who are like, everything's great. Um, yeah, that's not how it is in the real world. It's not. And so I really, uh, that moment was like, and it was so like uh, subtle, that moment. It wasn't like a whole oh! afterwards. And when I was looking at my design, I was like, yeah. I don't know what the trade-offs need to be because I don't have any constraints. Um, so, so that was just something to think about for me. And it made me realize it was like, like there's this whole world that I don't know. Um, and so I started just getting to know more and more people and talking to people who aren't like me. Well, you should always talk to people who aren't like you, but I mean, in terms of like career uh, trajectory and stuff um, and field and discipline. So yeah, that was like a really great moment for me. Other than that, like um, every other like aha mentor moment or like grab the car handle. Oh, she won't, we bought a ticket. We're on our way to like a uh, mind blown land. Um, but they've all been just like, I can't tell you how many times there's been a call on ADP with an ADP list mentor where I'm like, God, I'm so, I didn't think about that. That's so obvious. It's so some you people have mental blind spots. It's just a fact of life. Every single person has mental blind spots. If you don't agree with me, too bad you're wrong. Everybody has mental blind spots. So getting a second opinion is so crucial because they can point out something that you're like, oh, doy, you know. And those have been actually my favorite. Those have been my favorite because it it made me realize I'm overthinking it. I don't need to beat up myself up so much. And I love those moments. Yeah, that that brings me to one of my favorite moments because that the yeah. mental blind spots, I think, is so is so key, and that's not even with with mentorship or career growth or anything. Like it could be with your literal work, just getting a second pair of eyes. Like yes. I used to have my one of my boot camp mates like look over my work, and she would just catch things that like would just flow over my head. I'm just like, wow, this is like super valuable, which you know, brings up a point, like, get feedback as soon as you can, but that's a rabbit hole I don't want to go down. But oh. in terms of the mental, you know, blind spots, I think one of my favorite moments was I was talking to an ADP list mentor, and this was when I, I got my job. I got the gig, I got the upper letter, I signed it, sealed, delivered, you know, all that stuff, and I was ready to, you know, start this next phase of my life. And and, you know, coming from such a, like, those past couple of months, I just was just hustling, like, yeah. nonstop, like, just doing, literally doing the most. And when I got that moment where, like, you know, I finally achieved, you know, one of my goals and getting my first gig, it, it felt weird. And, and I was starting to, to freak out. I'm like, like, is this wrong for me to feel like 
you know, like I was questioning myself, what's next? What am I yeah. supposed to do next? And and this guy who I did make a post about on LinkedIn, he basically told me like, you know, this is just a feeling of, of success. Like you accomplished something that you worked so hard for. So take the time to just relax and, and enjoy the moment. And obviously anyone could just say that, right? I kind of probably could even told myself that, but the fact that I was hearing it from an outside perspective uh-huh. and hearing it from someone who, you know, I looked up to, I was just like, wow, like I just completely forgot that, you know, I can relax. I can, you know, just enjoy life. Like life is more than just, you know, making YouTube videos or, you know, being doing, everywhere on the present. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it was really eye-opening for me because like I, I talked about this with with one of my other mentors, Jarrell, which shout out Jarrell. Love you, man. Hey Jarrell. Um, because he he felt the the same same way and he you know told me the same exact thing just like you know enjoy that moment I was like huh that makes absolute sense and if I didn't hear that from someone else I probably would have still stayed in that mindset of like you know, I need to do something something's wrong like oh my gosh you, I'm so glad you had that mentorship like as your friend like I'm glad so you had that and if you had been taught if you had talked to me I'd probably would have been saying the same thing and it's, it's easy to say it obviously than like receive it and yeah the thing the funny thing about people the funny thing about adults just adults <laughs> in general um is that sometimes we just i don't know why we're like this but i feel like sometimes people like crave permission to do stuff and like hear me out this is like here like hear me out there might be it might be a spicy opinion but it's validation you got validation like hey you you can go be happy it's the same as like let's say you were sad it's like hey you, you can be sad it's okay you know i'm here for you um on the other end of that spectrum like hey you can be happy S- celebrate go dance in the rain naked i don't know do whatever you do whatever your process is but um another really great mentorship moment it, well multiple i've had multiple moments like this where i'll say like you know i don't know if i'm doing the right thing and and i've had mentors say like you know hearing from what you're saying, like, it sounds like you're doing the right thing. And it's like, wow, wow, I am. It's, so validation. it's like, you know, or I'll run an idea by them. Like, okay, so, you know, my stakeholder is doing X. I'm thinking about doing Y. And they'll be like, yeah, that sounds good. And it's like, I don't need permission really from an ADP list mentor or a mentor in general, but it's nice to receive permission or validation. Permission might not be the right word, but down to its core, it's almost like the the, the child in me wants permission or whatever. <laughs> Everybody has it. I'm not going to, you know, I'm, I'm not a therapist. I mean, I did try for a minute to be a therapist. The emotional burnout's real. Um, but like, every, you know, everybody's got like a child in them that's, you know, just doing their best. Um, and uh, I think it comes down to that. So, yeah, no, that was a really, that was a really nice share. Thanks, Jason. Yeah, no. And, you know, as you were talking, I was kind of just thinking you know, you, you were talking about, you would have said the same thing to me. And, and this is kind of going to the realm of the next question I might have, which is, you know, how has mentorship changed your life? And, you know, for me, it's like all the mentors that, okay, I won't say all, but most of the mentors I met, like I can consider my friends. And I think that's like a I don't want to say like a clear distinction between like leadership and management, because I do think you could be, you know, friends with your leaders and whatnot, but being able to just vibe with your mentors. And I'm going to steal a quote from one of our ambassadors, because uh, one of the ambassadors told me this like way back, like even before I knew what ADP list was, like, you know, mentorship's like, like dating, right? You can't, you're not going to vibe with every yeah. single mentor that you're going to, you're going to meet and you know, get design critiques or whatnot, you know, it's, it's like an organic relationship and finding that right vibe. Like when I find that vibe, I feel like I could just be my most authentic self with that person. I could talk to that person. I could tell them about my problems. I could be vulnerable, which, you know, is like another stem on the tree of how mentorship has changed my life. And that I have never been this open about myself like ever maybe even including to my parents or my brothers and whatnot yeah and 
you know, I think it's because like there's a lot of mentors out there that open that they they cultivate that environment for you to just you know speak what's going on in your mind. Like, what are you struggling with? What's stopping you to get from you know your goal of becoming X, Y, and Z? And you know, I really like can't think of enough reason of like you know that in of itself is like such a game changing moment for me. Just being able to to talk to someone about yeah. what's going on in my life, you know? Yeah, yeah. I mean, like within reason. <laughs> yes, yes. I'm not gonna be like, oh, I like you know. My bird died. Did something illegal? I'm gonna be like, oh, okay. I did something illegal. <laughs> Where do I hide the body? <laughs> <laughs> How do I not get caught? <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, no, and that's that's so real. I mean, like these this this is a platform of friendship. And I uh I always tell people this too when they're like they, you know, I have people asking me about ADP list and like uh, I'm I'm or just mentorship in general. Um is if if it goes well, it can be a friendship. And I and you know, and then you have someone to talk to and I will be honest, there is like a, t I, I meet with a lot of mentors because I just love meeting people. I love getting to know their stories. I like getting their perspectives because even, look, I hear a lot, oh God, I have so many tangents that just opened up in my brain. <laughs> um, like it, you're going to get, you're going to ask the same questions and you're going to get different answers from different mentors. It's okay. They're not all like a part of like the hive mind. They're not bored. Everybody has their own perspectives. Um, so it's really nice getting different answers to the same question because you start to understand, you start seeing patterns, you start uh, learning about yourself as a designer. Cause like maybe a mentor, uh, gives you, um, uh, I don't know, advice about something and it doesn't necessarily resonate with you and where you want to go with your journey, but guess what? That's still great that you've got that piece of advice because you've got, a, you learned a new perspective. Um, and, uh, oh God, my tan the tangents, is, I can feel, it's like click, 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 click in my brain. Um. I, uh, I think mentorship has like a really big impact uh, and it, I'm going to open up another tangent before I do that. I know there was something else we were talking about. Oh my God. People are going to be watching this going like, people are <laughs> oh, you can rewind. I can't rewind. I don't know what I just said. Um, what was I saying just before I went on that little thing about how it's really nice to meet with different mentors um, because you can get different perspectives. Oh, friendship. Yeah. Weird thing about me. I meet with a lot of mentors and at the beginning, so I, I, uh, started the, the journey of pivoting my career, transition my career, whatever you want to call it. Um, uh, yeah, it was during the lockdown and ADP list was like, just new on the platform. Like it just switched over from being a spreadsheet that Felix made. Uh, and so I was meeting with a lot of people and there was like a part of me that was just like, I just want to talk to people. Like, I just want to talk to designers, you know, like, um, I have like my husband who's cool. He's like, I enjoy him. No, I'm just <laughs> I love him. I love you, Josh. Um, it, you know, but it's really nice to meet other designers. Um, and, and that's also another uh, great way to, uh, one of my biggest pain points getting into design was like, I don't know how to say these words that they're saying. They're saying weird words like wireframe and they're saying like stakeholder and they're saying uh, synthesize and they're saying all these <laughs> words. And I'm like, I don't know how to put those in my vocabulary. And so um, I just like had a bunch of meetings with a bunch of mentors and then they would say it. And then so after a while, it's like, okay, it's starting to, it's starting to work. It's like learning a different language and hanging out in the area where that language is spoken. You know, and I started, I'm not perfect. I, to be fair, I, I have a hard time talking in general. So, um, you know, that, that was one benefit of it. And also on top of that, you make new friends and that's really cool. Um, it doesn't always turn out that way and that's fine. You can't like make yourself be friends with someone. It's not, you know, this has to be consensual, of course. Um, and I, I really, I'm so sorry. I'm like talking so much. Um, nah, you're good. It's all content, great content. <laughs> Don't put me on a platform, Jason. I'll just keep going. Um, but I, I really want to call out something. I love doing this because when I, when you brought up the topic of impact of mentorship, yeah, it's easy all day to say like unicorns and butterflies and and pancakes and stuff. Um, but you know what? It can because it has so much impact. It can be positively good or it can be negatively bad. That was redundant, but you know what I mean? Um, I've said that you probably have heard the story from me about like my, I went to the Academy of Art uh, University in San Francisco and um, I had met with someone not affiliated with that college, um, 
but like I met a designer in the field and uh, they were doing a portfolio review for me. Um, I thought it was an interview, but it wasn't. So it was already confusing to begin with. Um, and even though it was like just one session, portfolio review, it was like laugh in my face negative. Not like you can do this better, you can do that better. Like to be fair, it wasn't that bad, okay? Okay, it wasn't that bad. But I would have appreciated what I was lacking as opposed to just like, oh, I would never have done it that way. You know, and it it, it was so impactful to me that like, um, oh, I'm trying to figure out how to say this. Uh, it like messed me up. I mean, I went in to get some guidance and I had dropped out of college a couple, I don't even know. I don't even know if it was weeks or months. I just, I, I just remember leaving the, the studio and sitting on a nearby bench. And I was just sitting with my, my little laptop bag. And I was, and I was dressed like kind of cool. I was in San Francisco, right? You know, I mean, I'm in Oakland now, but you know, I was dressed like cool. And I was looking at myself and I was like, I look like a designer and, and I'm wearing a uniform or I'm wearing a costume. Like, mm -hmm. this is a costume. This is not who I am. I'm not a designer. And right. imposter syndrome, I don't think was a term at the time, or at least one that I didn't know of, but that's how I would describe it. Yeah. And I, I, I dropped out of the Academy of Art uh, after that. So I always pull attention to that because mentorship is so impactful and it just shows how like important it can be in your life, but also don't let it completely mess you up. It took me about a decade to get back into design. Um, so I was like in the early two, no, not early 2000s. I was at junior high. What am I talking about? Um, <laughs> it was, it was like 10 years ago. And so I finally got the nerve to like, you know what, whatever, I'm going to do it, you know, and, and I'm glad I did. I'm glad I'm back. And I'm so glad resources are available where you have a community on LinkedIn, you have, um, ADP lists, you have, uh, like other, there's other platforms and stuff. It's not just that platform. There's so many resources available and God, I wish those were available back then because I, it, 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 it was like that, the moment that I, I told myself I wasn't a designer, that's when I became an imposter. So for 10 years, mm -hmm. I was actually the imposter for 10 years. I was um, doing an admin work, office work, you know, I, I dabbled in alcoholism a little bit, you know, I, it was really, it was just a, it was bad. And I don't regret any of it. I feel like a stronger human being, you know, I'm five years sober. I, I, I don't regret any of it because it, I've learned. And that's another reason why transitioning of careers, pivoting of careers is so important because it's like, Hey, I don't regret those 10 years. You know, there were some moments where like, that was bad. That was, that's bad. Um, but it, it, it made me who I am today. Um, so that was my long, st I'm sorry, you did not ask for any of that. Jesus. No, listen, Amber, <laughs> listen, it's, it's all good. And I appreciate you for, for sharing that and showing that there is this other side to yeah. mentorship. Like it can, you know, negatively, positively impact you if that's, if that's yeah. what you said. And it's what you do with it too. Like it really is like, I mean, maybe if I had another mentor in my life, maybe if I had like. I mean, you know, I obviously had friends and teachers and stuff, but it just, what it wasn't what it is now. At least mm -hmm. maybe, maybe I wasn't ready for it. Like, I'll be honest, like, maybe I wasn't ready for it. Who knows? It's, I mean, it, it, a decade's a long time, my dude. Like, I forgot what yeah. I did last week, okay? Like, but <laughs> the, the fact of the matter is, like, like, yes, these mentors are there for you, but you also need to be there for yourself. That's, that's, Ooh. that's what I'm getting at. But Put that in your quotes, everyone. That's that's a fire ass quote right there. <laughs> I say deep things sometimes. <laughs> but, but you bring up a really good point because, well, well, first off, I I love that you after telling your story, you say that you don't regret a thing, which I think it's like that's so important because there has been moments, right, that like you know should hit the fan for me, and like I, you know, wasn't the happiest person, or I you know, was just being so, so negative about, about life. And it also kind of had to do with a past mentor, which I won't mention in yeah. dance, not design related, but in dance. Yeah. 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 And, you know, there, there are going to be those moments where you just, you, you hit the pit, right? You, you're at the lowest point and you don't know how to get out. You just feel lost. And yeah. 
you know, trapped. And, you know, I, I feel like everyone at some point, like, will hit that moment in their life. Yeah. But yeah. looking at it in a positive way, like, you know, when you get out of that, like, comparing yourself to when you were there to, like, now, like, I bet you right now, like, if you look back 10 years from, you know, where you were then to, like, now, yeah, it's like a complete 180. And I can say for myself, too, like, if you met me, you know, two years ago, holy shit, completely different person. I probably wouldn't be this, you know, ecstatic talking to people. I probably would have just, you know, been that shy boy playing video games on his, you know, decked out gaming PC. So, you know, it's, e even though mentorship can negatively impact you, there is a positive result that will come from it if you persevere, if you stick through it. Um, and that's also not to say like, you know, mentorship is, you know, I think everyone receives mentorship in their life. Like you don't have to have the title mentor to like be mentored. Um, so yeah, I, I feel you 110%. And, you know, I guess to, to wrap up this conversation, because, you know, I don't want this to go for, for oh, too long. Oh, we are long. not ending on a negative note. You better ask a nice, happy question filled with ah, ah. happy. <laughs> We're not I, ending I on a, a negative note, my dude. <laughs> I was about to say, you know, if if there's any like last things you want to just say about mentorship, you know, yeah. whether let's say in a positive way, right? Okay, want to end positive. Positively. Yeah, yeah. Get, keep up the positive vibes. I feel like you just handed me the mic and you were just like, go. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, all right, peace. <laughs> yeah, bye. Jesus. Uh, I mean, like, I don't. <laughs> malfunction um look like i i love this conversation so the the topic of of this little jimmy jam thing that you created what's the hoot right so like yeah what what's the who what are people hooting and hollering about um mentorship is like amazing and i think we've talked about the impact of it right just to summarize like this whole conversation that we've had like the impact is is real even if it's like a subtle little like one line that is like wow like you get to look forward to all those little nuggets that get dro dropped around you know like maybe maybe you hear the same advice from two different mentors but one of them just hits different because it's the same advice but they said it in a way that spoke to you you know um and i always i I have to laugh, but I also understand when people like ask like, oh, I, you know, I'm not ready to speak to a mentor yet. I, you know, I don't have my portfolio ready. Like, I'm just not, I'm not at that level yet. And like, that's like, here, this is my thing. This is my thing. Okay. And well, don't get me wrong. They're very intense, it, it, especially if you're introverted or, or you just, you, you know, you're a uh, neurodivergent or you're just, there, there's just something. I get it. Believe me. I get it. Um, group sessions are great for that. Uh, but I always, I, I think it's interesting when people say they're not ready for mentorship yet. And I'm, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't think I've ever met anyone who's like, Hey, you know, have you, have you been to the doctor? Like, I can't go to the doctor yet. I'm not at hundred percent health. I gotta get like, I gotta get real healthy. I get really the, the, at least to a certain point of health. And then I'll go to a doctor. It's like, huh you know like <laughs> i get it i get it i get it i get it but it's like you go to the mentor to like learn and you know even you could be literally two seconds after you decide like i want to be a designer go find a designer who like i'm kind of interested i don't really know what that person does but i want to know so you just meet with them and say like hey tell me about a day in your life i'm 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 thinking about transitioning in fact you know what i take that back even if you're thinking about becoming a designer, you can still speak with them. Um, it's a consensual relationship. We don't, I don't know if anybody knows this, but Felix doesn't force people to be on that platform, okay? Felix isn't running around capturing people, kidnapping them, and then holding them hostage on the platform. People want to be there. It's empowering. And I I just had a conversation, a really nice conversation with this lovely girl, um, uh, uh, like, I, I lost my train of thought. She was saying how, um, like, she, there's like always a worry about like taking up their time, making it worth their time. And it's like, it's already worth their time because they're helping you. Um, you know, like I asked her, like, think about a time you've ever mentored somebody like this, you know, in, in any capacity, you know, how did that make you feel? And she, she's so funny. She was like, 
I see what you're doing. It made me feel good. <laughs> and yeah, so think about a time you've ever had the chance to just mentor someone, anyone in design, not in design, whatever. How did it make you feel? It feels great. I love helping people. And I'm not saying I'm like the best mentor in the world, but I just love helping people. And people who are on the platform also love helping people. So this is like a, this is a reciprocal relationship. You know, if you really want to like go out of your way, uh, well, it's not even going out of your way. It's really easy to do. You know, leave a review for them, write a LinkedIn post, post on Twitter about it. That's how you can give back. That's like the nice cherry on top. Um, another way you can give back to your mentor is doing the thing they advise you to do. Unless of course, you know, it doesn't really work for you. But like, if they tell you like, Hey, you know, I really think that you should do this with your portfolio. Like, unless it's like something you really, really disagree with, like maybe you should implement their advice, you know? Um, and then have a follow-up meeting with them and say, Hey, look at the thing I did because you said, and then it's like, Oh, proud moment. Oh, we're so happy. Yay. Happy feelies. You know? So yeah, I always, it's never too early to, to get advice about something like that's just that's silly but I get it I get it but it's I you know don't worry you got a whole bunch of people who are like rooting for you and you haven't even met them yet so Ooh, yeah that is a great great way to to end this conversation whole bunch of people rooting for you you just haven't met yeah I think there's <laughs> <laughs> I think there's a commercial for like this bar in Jersey it's like it's a restaurant it's like you know come to this place like you just haven't met your friends yet or something like that like everyone's oh, that, supposed to be a friend in the bar well, there's yeah there's like a saying that's like strangers are just friends you haven't met yet but i like we'll take literally it a step further we'll take a step further they're rooting for you and they haven't even met you yet i'm rooting for you and i haven't even met you yet yes exactly we're all rooting for you well amber i think this was an awesome ass conversation and you know i can't thank you enough for you know, just being able to have this conversation. I think there's a lot of people out there who haven't made that leap of faith into mentorship and, you know, anything that we might've said can be that little motivation to just be like, you know, mm. let's book that session. You know, yeah, let's like, try ADP like, list out. Yeah, you're gonna get your your money's worth. Like, well, no, that sounds bad because it's like free. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, but it's like, uh, you, will, you will learn something or your money back because it's free. Like it's, it's literally yeah it's 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 so great it, it it's really good and i it's so great it's really good wow i should be a salesperson um yeah i uh <laughs> let's end it on me being awkward i think that's perfect <laughs> awesome oh thank you so